All right, we're doing gypsy fry bread. You need three cups of flour, one tablespoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one and a half cups warm water. All right. Now we got to lightly flour a surface, roll the dough. It's been refrigerated in the refrigerator for an hour into baseball size pieces of dough and then you flatten it to a quarter of an inch. Now there's six balls. We gotta flatten them out to a quarter of an inch and then we put them in the fry pan. There, that's the first one. But when you do this, you also got to poke it with a knife so it stays flat. Okay, now we're going to put it in. Hopefully the pan's hot. It looks like it is for about three, four minutes. There. While I use traditionally baking grease, you can use other oil, um, vegetable oil or any other uh, type of oil that you want. Oh, I gotta get a plate. Okay, that's what the first side will look like. Yeah, you fry it for two to four minutes. Yeah, mine didn't stay flat. So I might have to let it cook a little longer. <laughs> Till it's golden brown. Okay, we'll let that cook for a little bit. And then we'll go over here and I will show you what we used for toppings. Okay, myself when I was a child, and this is why this is important to me, is because my mother used to make this for me as a child. My grandmother she passed away when, I, when my mom was very young, so we didn't get to, I didn't get time with my grandma. You can use butter and syrup, butter and honey, or just honey, and you can make cinnamon, and this is sugar. I keep <laughs> my sugar in there. And then there's also honey flavored syrup. You can do um, sugar and brown and brown sh sugar too, or sugar and ground cinnamon. You could also put powdered sugar on it. Now let's go back. Okay. Now you let this drain. And let's see how it cooks. Okay. Let's see. Yes, this used to be. My mom did it a lot better than I did, because I remember them being a lot thinner. So, I'm going to use what I used to use as a child, the butter. And now, there's the gypsy bread. Now, I don't know if any of you guys know about the gypsies, but they're very poor people. They were 500 years enslaved over in Eastern Europe, which I am part Rom Romney child, uh, which is they migrated to England and Ireland in the 11th century. So that... And this is a recipe that was passed down because when they were enslaved, they did not have a lot of food from their slave owners. They <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed my presentation 
And if you have any questions, either about the gypsy bread or the... Oh, officially, they're called Roma or Sinti. There's other names for them, too, but it depends on the area they're from. Well, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you.